Yo, Rumits here, and welcome to a FIFA 23 player review for 87 rated Winter Wildcards Val Veghorst. Interesting card, this one. So he stands 6 foot 6 inches tall. He has high, high work rate. His preferred foot is his right. He's only got a 3 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. He's currently on the market for about 17,000 coins for the price. I mean, that's definitely because of the links. So he can play striker, centre back, and centre forward. Very interesting. We'll try him at both striker and centre back. His club, Besiktas. He's got the Super League links and the Netherlands links. I've stuck a hunter on him initially. I will change that to a shadow, but both will boost his acceleration up to 83, sprint speed up to 88, and will keep him the lengthy accelerate type. His shooting with the hunter, positioning boosted up to 89, finishing up to 91, shot power up to 94, long shots meh at 75. His passing, short passing 81, good enough. Long passing meh at 60. Dribbling, agility low at 74 balance low at 65 that does enable him to be the lengthy accelerate type reactions 86 ball control 83 dribbling 73 composure 86 defending i mean it looks good already interceptions at 83 heading actually 99 defensive awareness 82 standing tackle 90 sliding tackle at 82 and that would only be boosted with a shadow chem style physical stats also look great jumping at 84 and he's six foot six already stamina 88 should last all the game strength 94 very strong aggression high as well at 90 i like that he's got a power header trait i'm going to be playing him at striker and center back in a 4-2-3-1 narrow in this team so let's see how he plays Of course, might be in here. Oh, mate. I don't know what happened there. That was probably my bad. Oh, just wide. Left foot of Veghorst. Just wanted him to make a run there. He's got the ball now, though. Gets into the box. Good tackle by them. Veghorst in here. Buries that one, top left corner. Brings it back, one all. Good control under pressure. Wins that back. Not losing that in the air, is he? Red course into the box. Finishes it. Seems to have that acceleration just because he is the lengthy accelerated type and puts us ahead. Off the bar, Veghorst. Ooh, that was from the left foot of Veghorst. Decent finish there with a three-star weak foot. One all. Finesse forces the parry. And we get the follow-up assist for Veghorst. Veghorst might be in here. Just didn't have the pace really there against Saliba. Sleep is quite fast though, deceptively. Oh, unlucky Veghorst there wins the corner kick. Nods it on. You got the pace here. Oh, decent acceleration. Saliba covered well though. Oh, Veghorst. Oh, that's his bread and butter. He was offside though. Red horse in the middle, can we find him? How's he missed that? Good strength. Dispossessed again by Saliba. Red horse might be in here. Oh, just a heavy touch. Just sprinted normally, quite a heavy touch in front of him. Just quite slow with his movements and to release the ball, Veghorst. Veghorst in here. Oh, time that one, saved by Pope. Veghorst should be in here. Oh, <laughs> he's just really slow and cumbersome. Oh, I tried to fire that in at the near post. Ooh, lovely finish there. Veghorst, top left corner, finds it with ease. Early on. Ooh, Veghorst stays up but loses out to Bailly. 
He's not losing a header, is he? Forces the save. Oh, easy header at the near post from Veghorst. They gave him way too much space there. Veghorst. Ooh. Seemed pretty quick there, not gonna lie, for a big man. Veghorst might be in behind here. Oh, keepers come out. It's just them ones, he's just not quick enough to get there first. Don't even bother, mate. <laughs> Veghorst. He's a good ball out. A target man. Oh, save at the near post. Oh, it's gone in. He's just not losing them headers. He's too tall, his jumping's too high. And he's gone. Oh, Veghorst, they might have let him in here. Oh, they just get him. Veghorst came across well there. Seems funny to say that. Good inception. Oh, a bit clumsy there, though. Good inception again, though. Good tackle, Veghorst. Veghorst as well. Veghorst did well there to get back. Veghorst's position there was a bit weird. Good tackle, Veghorst. Keeps the ball. Passes forwards. Oh, great block, Veghorst there. Veghorst did well there. Too little, too late anyway. Veghorst did well there. Oh, Veghorst did well coming across there. Oh my goodness. Get away with that one. That was my bad though. Good positioning there. <laughs> they were in big trouble there, but just couldn't get in. How did he save that? I could barely see it. Oh, <laughs> keeper in no man's land. He's a big problem in corner kick situations. Oh, how'd I get over Veghorst? So after six games, we've got the eight goals, no assists with Veghorst, and that is not a bad return at all, in my opinion, on the card. Well, it's an interesting card, isn't it? I mean, he is versatile. I do believe he can do a job at striker and centre-back, as bizarre as that sounds. I think he has what it takes in both positions. However, I don't think he will excel at either position. So... Kind of a jack of all trades, master of none, but he can do a job in both positions. I think him being lengthy does help his lack of pace. He does have that instant acceleration, although the speed isn't really maintained, so defenders can catch him and keep up with him. But I think he has enough to get by, so it's not the end of the world. His height, his heading, and his strength, I'm going to combine them all into one because from corner kicks, he's a monster. I don't think anybody can really mark him and defend against him. It just seemed like he won every single header. When the ball's near him, he's going to win it. I mean, he's six foot six. He's got good jumping, good strength, good aggression. Um, brilliant from crosses and corner kicks. So if you like that sort of thing, he's your guy. And of course, the price, he's basically for the price. So you can probably just sell him for what you got him for. He's not going to go down much more because he's probably the cheapest 87. But yeah, links. It's going to be very hard to link him. I mean, there's a few options in the Super League, but not too much. There's the old Icardi card. There's Mertens, Ozil, Musa, the objective that just come out. But 
other than that, you're going to be looking to link in with Netherlands players. So yeah, links are a big con for me. It'll be quite hard to get him in your team. His passing, his short passing is good enough, but the passing is just nothing special. I mean, what are you really expecting with a card like this anyway? And he's quite clumsy. Obviously, he's that tall. So he just sort of stumbles every now and then and he's a bit stiff when he's turning he's not turning in any tight circles he sort of turns 90 degrees at a time but i mean i've given it an 8 out of 10 all things considered it's a it's a fun card that's what it is a fun card if you're a fan of their course of course he almost had heroics in the world cup in the i was about to say in the summer in the winter just now but yeah interesting card I won't be keeping him in my team, I won't be going out and buying him, but if you like him, go ahead, he's usable, but that's only my opinion, please like, subscribe and comment if you appreciate it, take care.